Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about one of the most popular digital currencies in the world, Bitcoin. In this video, we'll cover the basics of what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it's important. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency that operates without a central authority like a bank or government. It was invented by an unknown person or group using the name Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008 and released as an open source software in 2009. Bitcoin uses cryptography to secure and verify transactions and to control the creation of new units. How does it work? Bitcoin works on a technology called blockchain, which is a distributed ledger of all transactions that have ever taken place on the network. Each block in the blockchain contains a number of transactions, and once a block is added to the blockchain, it cannot be altered. When someone sends Bitcoin to another person, the transaction is broadcast to the entire network, and miners compete to add it to the blockchain. Miners are incentivized to do this through transaction fees and by being awarded newly created Bitcoins. Why is it important? Bitcoin offers several advantages over traditional currencies. It allows for fast and cheap global transactions without the need for a central authority, and it is resistant to censorship and confiscation. Additionally, its limited supply and decentralized nature give it a unique value proposition as a store of value and a potential hedge against inflation. One interesting fact about Bitcoin that many people may not know is that its creator, Satoshi Nakamoto, remains anonymous to this day. Despite the widespread use and popularity of Bitcoin, no one knows for sure who invented it or who the personal group behind the pseudonym of Satoshi Nakamoto really is. There have been many theories about the identity of Satoshi Nakamoto, but no one has been able to definitively prove who it is. Some people believe that Satoshi Nakamoto is a group of individuals working together, while others think it might be a single person. Whoever they are, Satoshi Nakamoto's identity remains a mystery. Another lesser known fact about Bitcoin is that it was created as a response to the 2008 financial crisis. Satoshi Nakamoto's goal was to create a decentralized currency that would be resistant to government and bank control and that would allow people to conduct transactions without the need for a middleman. This was seen as a way to reduce the risk of financial crises like the one that occurred in 2008. Finally, Bitcoin has a limited supply, with only 21 million Bitcoins in existence. This means that unlike traditional currencies, which can be printed by central banks, there is a finite amount of Bitcoin that can never be created. This scarcity is one of the reasons why some people believe that Bitcoin has value as a store of wealth and a hedge against inflation. Here are five interesting facts about Bitcoin. The first Bitcoin transaction was for pizza. On May 22, 2010, a programmer named Laszlo Hanyic purchased two Papa John's pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoins which at the time was worth around $41. Today, those same Bitcoins would be worth millions of dollars. Bitcoin is not completely anonymous. While Bitcoin transactions are recorded on a public ledger, known as the blockchain, the identities of the parties involved are not disclosed. However, it is possible to track and trace Bitcoin transactions through various methods, which has led to concerns about its use for illegal activities. The maximum supply of Bitcoin is capped at 21 million, Unlike traditional currencies, which can be printed by central banks, there is a finite amount of Bitcoin that can ever be created. This scarcity is one of the reasons why some people believe that Bitcoin has value as a store of wealth and a hedge against inflation. Bitcoin can be used to buy almost anything. While Bitcoin was initially used as a means of payment for niche products and services, today it is accepted by many mainstream merchants and retailers, including Microsoft, Overstock, and Expedia. You can use Bitcoin to buy anything from coffee to cars, and there are even Bitcoin ATMs in some cities. Here are some general strategies that traders may use when trading Bitcoin. Technical Analysis Traders may use technical analysis to identify patterns and trends in the price of Bitcoin. This can involve using charts and indicators to look for signals of price movements, such as support and resistance levels, moving averages, and other technical indicators. Fundamental Analysis Traders may also use fundamental analysis to evaluate the underlying factors that could influence the price of Bitcoin, such as regulatory developments, adoption rates, and network effects. This can involve keeping up to date with news and events in the cryptocurrency industry and analyzing the potential impact on Bitcoin's price. Risk Management Trading Bitcoin can be risky, so it is important to have a plan for managing risk. This can involve setting stop-loss orders to limit potential losses, using leverage responsibly, and diversifying your portfolio to reduce exposure to any single asset. Trading Bots 
Some traders use automated trading bots to execute trades on their behalf. These bots can be programmed to follow specific strategies, such as buying or selling based on certain technical indicators or market conditions. Another strategy is scalping. This strategy involves buying and selling Bitcoin quickly, usually within a few minutes or hours, to take advantage of small price movements. This can require a high level of skill and experience, as well as the ability to react quickly to changing market conditions. It is important to note that trading Bitcoin carries risks, and traders should do their own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any trading decisions. There's no doubt that crypto is here to stay and the future of crypto is close on the way. Here is some information on the future of crypto. Cryptocurrencies have been gaining popularity and acceptance over the past decade, and their future looks promising. Here are some potential developments in the world of crypto. Increased adoption. As more people become familiar with cryptocurrencies and their benefits, we may see an increase in adoption by individuals and businesses alike. This could lead to more widespread acceptance and integration of cryptocurrencies into everyday life. Cryptocurrencies have already been used for a variety of purposes, including peer-to-peer -peer transactions, online shopping, and investments. In the future, we may see even more mainstream use cases for cryptocurrencies, such as in real estate, healthcare, and voting. Improved technology. The technology behind cryptocurrencies is constantly evolving and improving. This could lead to faster transaction speeds, better security measures, and more user-friendly interfaces. Additionally, new cryptocurrencies may be developed that address current issues or offer new features and benefits. Integration with traditional finance. Some experts predict that cryptocurrencies will become more integrated with traditional finance in the future. This could include the development of digital currencies by central banks or the creation of cryptocurrency-based financial products. Overall, the future of crypto looks bright, with many potential developments and advancements on the horizon. However, as with any new technology, there are also risks and uncertainties to consider. So that's a brief overview of Bitcoin and how it works.